Chromal and sodium drops are used to treat specific allergic eye conditions such as vernal keratoconjunctivitis, vernal conjunctivitis, and vernal keratitis. It helps prevent itching of the eyes that can happen with these conditions. Chromalin is a mast cell stabilizer that works by blocking certain natural substances, histamine, SRSA, that cause allergic symptoms. The recommended daily dosage and the best time to take this medication can be determined by consulting with a healthcare professional. Before using chromalin sodium drops, make sure to wash your hands and avoid touching the dropper tip to prevent contamination. It's best to avoid wearing contact lenses while using this medication. Your doctor will typically prescribe using this medication four times daily for up to three months. To apply the drops, tilt your head back, look upward, and pull down the lower eyelid to create a pouch. Then, hold the dropper directly over the eye and place one drop into the pouch. Keep your eyes closed for one to two minutes and use gentle pressure near the nose to prevent the medication from draining away. If your dose is more than one drop, or if you need to apply the drops to the other eye, repeat these steps. Remember not to rinse the dropper and to replace the cap tightly after each use. If you are using other eye medications, make sure to wait at least 5 minutes before applying them, and always use eye drops before eye ointments. Using this medication regularly at the same times each day will help you get the most benefit from it. It may take several days of continued use to see relief in symptoms and up to 6 weeks for full benefit. If immediate relief is needed, use other quick relief medications as directed by your doctor. And if your condition lasts or gets worse, make sure to inform your doctor. You may experience a burning or stinging sensation in your eyes when using chromalin sodium drops. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's essential to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. While it is rare, a severe allergic reaction to this drug can occur. Seek immediate medical attention if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of potential side effects. If you experience any other effects not mentioned here, it's recommended to contact your doctor or pharmacist. For medical advice about side effects in the US, call your doctor or report them to the FDA. In Canada, you can contact your doctor or report side effects to Health Canada. Before using chromalin sodium drops, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. Also, tell them about your medical history, especially if you use contact lenses. After using the drops, your vision may be temporarily blurred, so avoid activities like driving or using machinery until your vision clears up. If you are planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications you are using, including prescription, non-prescription, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, only use this medication if it is clearly needed, and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is also important to consult your doctor before using this medication if you are breastfeeding, as it is unknown if the drug passes into breast milk. When taking chromalin sodium drops, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. These interactions can affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this list with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial to follow your doctor's advice and not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without their approval. This will help ensure the safe and effective use of chromalin sodium drops. If someone accidentally swallows this medicine, it can be harmful. If they have serious symptoms such as passing out or trouble breathing, it's important to call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. U.S. residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and Canada residents can call a provincial poison control center. As for the daily dosage, it's important to use chromalin sodium drops as directed by your doctor. Typically, it is recommended to use 1 to 2 drops in each affected eye, 4 to 6 times a day. It is best to use the drops at evenly spaced intervals throughout the day to maximize the benefits. 
The optimal timing for using the drops can vary depending on your specific condition, so it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. It's important to avoid allergens that may be causing your allergies, such as pollen, grasses, weeds, dust mites, and pet dander. Remember not to share this medication with others. Chromalin sodium drops are prescribed for your current condition only. Do not use it later for another condition unless directed to do so by your doctor. If you need a different medication for another condition, your doctor will let you know. If you forget to take a dose of chromalin sodium drops, take it as soon as you remember. But if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When storing chromalin sodium drops, make sure to keep the dropper bottle upright at room temperature away from light. If the product manufacturer advises, make sure to discard any remaining solution after 4 weeks. It's important to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to discarding the product, do not flush the medication down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. It's important to properly discard this product and it is expired or no longer needed. If you're unsure how to do so, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.